Hey, how you doing? We are doing something different today. I got a Whopper slug rig here, and uh, there's already a bird up there. Long glasses, old man. Ah, there we go. Yep. Those are starlings. We got cowbirds. Oops, you need to see this. We have a lot of starlings, cowbirds. Okay, it looks like about 70 yards out there. Got her dialed. Where's my bird? There he is. Focus ya. There you go. Yep. All right, we're birding now. All right, it's like about 70, 75 yards again. Oh, we should put, oh that figures. I inch this way a little bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did I do it? Did I do it? Oh, yeah. I already caught. Okay, female cowbird. A little bit of a right to left. It's hold uh wait, she's not that far out. She's about how far out is she? Let me use my ranger. She is 70 yards. Tone that down a bit. Yep, 70, 70 yards. And send it. Wow. Wow, freaking wow. And there they are. They're up on top, eyeballing their buddy. Cut. There we go. Ooh, don't fly, don't fly, don't fly. He's short, gotta aim a little low. serious uh, oh. <laughs> yeah I almost I couldn't pull the trigger I felt guilty <laughs> and out there we got 85 yards okay Closer. Look at all you turds. Somebody scamper out there. There we go. Ah, uh, that was bad timing. Lucky for me, I'm shooting an air gun so nobody flies away. Alright, my bad. I'll get you right this time. Ooh, a twofer. Stay there, stay there, twofer. up. Uh, cowbirds are out in force now. That's what happens. They all fledge. And they're a parasitic bird actually. They parasitize red winged blackbird nests a lot. Which means that they're a brood parasite. They get the red wings to raise their babies for them. Ah. Okay. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, these flies are just making a meal out of me. I'm shaking so much. That must have been a head. That's a weird one. Oh. Okay, you then you next. All right. Everybody stay put. 88 yards. Okay. Stay put. A little bit of wind. Yeah, another one. This is going fast. This is so fast. All right, I see the appeal. The appeal of not having to hold for wind, the appeal of a flat trajectory. That is what I want right up there. Okay, 50 yards. Oh, that, it's like a brick. More starling. There's still juveniles and grown-ups in there. Circle back around. Another 50 yarder. You guys are gonna keep giving me chip shots, I'll keep taking them. Adult or juvenile? Duh. Another one? Good lord. 85 yards. Da, 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 da. Here we go. Okay, not gonna hold any wind. Where'd he go? He's not there. My life sucks. There will be blood and feathers everywhere, my darling. video games now. Freaking Call of Duty. It almost looks like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> uh, a blur went splat. Oh, more out there now. Okay, these are longer shots. 77 yards. <laughs> ah, get off! Sorry, sorry. Yeah, you didn't get to track that one. I was getting bit. So you may have noticed this thing right here. <laughs> that is this thing. Giles sent me this from the UK. It's a pretty nifty piece of equipment. Let me show you with my phone right here. What this is doing is I have it pointed in the exact same direction and spot as my scope. It's as close to the scope, close to the scope as possible because I want their two line of sights to be as close as possible. So because it's zeroed at 100, and that's, they're both on the same point at 100, at 50 it's a little bit off, at 200 it's a little bit off, but the closer you can have it to the scope, the more in line that's gonna be for longer distances. You'll be on point. Now the F-16s. So this doesn't have a viewfinder, it's just pointing and, and then giving a feedback. So it's very, very inexpensive. I think it's under 200 pounds, might be under 150 pounds. They are as good as you are. It's an amazing value at that price. If you use it right, if you don't use it right, you might as well just keep one of these. If you get it 
on this side, then I can use my non-dominant eye to have a look at it. And to give you an idea of what it looks like when I look down the scope, remember those, the, we called them tube tubes when we were a kid. It's the inner roll, the, the cardboard inner roll of toilet paper. Go grab one of them, them tube tubes, all right? Put it over your dominant eye. For me, that's my right eye. And then look through with both eyes open. Then bring your hand and touch the tube tube looks like it's going through your hand. Give it a shot. So when I look down the scope here, what I actually see is the scopes here and then those numbers from the back side of the display actually work into the scope. I'm seeing this inside this by having both eyes open. If you're left-eyed, make it on the right side and if you're right-eyed, make it on the left side. Keep them both open and you will see that display literally come into the view of the scope. It's pretty freaking cool. All right, let's keep shooting while I still have some blood left that the flies haven't got. Okay. And we got him. <laughs> what about his buddy? And, oh, oh, that was close. All right, where are we at there? These guys are closer. Yeah, you and... You and two. <laughs> ah. Yep, yep. Another one out there a little bit further. Pretty close. No, not you. Yes, you. That barely touched him. It must have just taken the crown of his head off. That's my guess. No wind, holds right on him. Yeah. <laughs> now the rest of you. Going that back down to about 65. Let's go to work. Okay. Then you. Okay. Yeah, too close. Yeah, you guys are gonna have to deal with a couple blurry shots because uh when I see them lined up and the clock's ticking and they haven't put it together yet, I'm just going to get as many as I can. What are you guys doing? What is this? What is this behavior? They're picking on their dead friends. Two for two. Again, they're blurry. Sorry about that. The ammo for today is uh, NSA 22 caliber, obviously. Um, 31.2 grain, 0.2165. It kind of makes this weird high pitch sound when it hits them. I've never. Uh, Never heard that. I heard it like it's more of a deep thock with Hades pellets. 
and uh, FX hybrids. Even the Javelin's more like a deeper thack, but it makes this kind of like squeaky thack when it hits them with the uh, Nielsen's. A little bit different. Way out there. These are just fun no matter what. 100 yards. My cock. Now I am. Let me get that second one. <laughs> yeah! Oh my god! These guys are a little short of a hundred. Okay, make sure I'm not canted. Okay, about. Step in front of him, step in front of him. Come on. Step in front of him. All right. Oh my goodness. Look at that wasteland out there. Look at them all. I also have my FX chronograph on the front of the gun there. Just to give you an idea, I will show you the speed we're shooting at. Load up the program here. Connect. All right. Have a look. Let's turn her voice on too. Yeah. Can you see that? One thousand. One hundred. That's how fast I'm sending these. Eleven hundred feet per second. Four and a half inch drop at a hundred yards. Zero to fifty. This is nuts. And I know, like I said before, that my data isn't matching up with what you guys know to be true. But I am shooting things all over the place out here with the uh, the trajectory that I learned outside. So I would say it's your job to figure out why this is working, not my job to convince you that it is, because <laughs> it's working. And they're back out there again, 60 yards. I only got three shots left, but uh, let's go three for three. <laughs> Okay, 50 yards. Oh my gosh, I think he just evaporated. Okay, I still have air and I still have bullets, but I don't have much blood left. They are mauling me and uh, I just need to get out of this, this high sun because I don't know why, but they always bite hard. They're like at this time of day, this kind of fly does actually different kind of flies bite at different times of day. But uh, I wasn't out to give you an entomology lesson. I just wanted to say <laughs> goodbye. And yeah, this slug, this slug bug has bit me hard. I, I get now why they like this so much. I also get how you can be pretty damn lazy about things. All this dialing and rangefinder built in and and flat trajectories. So you can you know you can ballpark the speed. 10 yards off and unlike a pellet you're probably still going to get a very lethal hit pellets can go you know they're dropping hard out of the 100 yards and this thing is still flying flat pretty dang unfair and a pretty remarkable tool for what i'm using it for oh and it's the 800 millimeter barrel in this with a 1 to 14 twist so it's fx's most aggressive 22 barrel that i'm shooting the 31 uh Point two grains with. That said, I also used a regular superior heavy barrel, 700 millimeter, and that worked supremely well too. So yeah, any guns at all, let me know what's working for you as far as the, the Nielsen's go in your barrel. Um, I'd be very curious to know, and that is that's my uh, payment for you, for me making this video that you can watch. You owe me that data. <laughs> Plus, the girls just won't shut up. Let me film! <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you at the next one. Killing time. Killing time. Getting bit. Effing flies. <laughs>